Police have identified a local bounce artist as the man at the center of a SWAT roll last night in the Desire neighborhood. They say Robert Mays, also known as Mr. Ghetto, sur surrendered after a six hour standoff. Monica Hernandez tells us how neighbors are reacting. He gained hundreds of thousands of hits on YouTube for this music video about Walmart shot in the metro area. Now, bounce artist Mr. Ghetto has people talking for another reason, shutting down several blocks of his desire neighborhood for hours last night after he barricaded himself inside his home, prompting the SWAT team to negotiate with him. Police say 26 year old Robert Mays told them he was armed and not afraid to die. Finally, around 11.30 last night, authorities used tear gas to force Mays to leave his house. You can see them wrestling him to the ground outside. Robin Blythe lives next door. She was one of the people evacuated during the standoff. Like something unbelievable. Never thought it would happen. And there it was, right there next door. Police say it all began after Mays threatened to kill a neighbor. When authorities got to the scene, they say Mays spoke with them, then retreated into his home and refused to come back out, screaming at them instead from inside the home. Neighbors say it's out of character. Oh, nobody, nobody, I guess nobody never would expect him to do that. One neighbor who didn't want to go on camera says she never had a problem with Mays. She says she often saw him leave with his wife and child. Meanwhile, Mays remains behind bars with three counts of extortion by threat. An unexpected twist in this local bounce artist's career. When I want me something new. Monica Hernandez, Channel 4 Eyewitness News. Police are still investigating exactly what happened. Bond has not yet been set in the case. Jefferson Parish deputies are investigating a deadly double shooting in the 1600 block of Julie Street in Marrero. Officials say it happened just before 8 o'clock tonight. Two unidentified men were shot. Investigators say both were armed. One of them died at the scene and the other was taken at the hospital. Colonel John Fortunato says the second suspect is not expected to survive. New Orleans police are also investigating a murder today in the 4200 block of General Ogden Street. It happened at around 1 this afternoon. The coroner confirms 34-year-old David Crane was found dead in his home. The SPCA was at the scene to make sure the man's two pit bulls had a home. Right now, police do not have any motive or suspects. If you have any information that could help investigators, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers at 822-1111.